Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Dungeon Crawl Stone Soup. I think today we will continue with our Inioop run. Uh, there he is. And when last we left Inioop, he was on Lair 1. Have we done Lair 2? Almost. I think we ran into something dangerous down there. Let's just uh, take a look at what we're doing here. We're training dodging and stealth. Interesting. Why aren't we training shields? Uh, shields is up enough. Okay. Shields could go up more. I'd like to use the uh, larger shield. Let's actually see what that does to our casting. Terrible things. Uh, we will stick with the buckler for now. But we will continue to train shields. That is going to be imperative for our survival. Uh, the Wand of Polymorph has come in very handy. We've actually had to use a lot to survive here. And that makes me think we should go back to the dungeon. Um, we're going to do another, another level or two and take a look for the Orcish Mines. Might be worth taking a uh, little detour to the mines. Okay, can we stab? No. Let's just stand back. No, they've all seen us. So it's time for Mephit Mephitic Clouding. We do need some better disable spells. Uh, we better get the Orc Priest here if we can. We cannot. There we go. And now it's time to happily stab them all to death. Just keep an eye on them and make sure none of them uh, regain their senses. We can also constrict multiple opponents, which is useful, if not a little dangerous. And we have found another glowing dagger. Let's check that out. The gloves will do us no good. There we go. Um, we might as well check out the staff. Staff of Wizardry. That's quite nice, but we need a stabby weapon. So we'll check out... Oh, Dagger Protection. That's very tempting. Very tempting. The Dagger of Speed is nicely enchanted, but that extra armor class is really going to help. Well, let's enchant it up a little bit. Why not? If I hang on to those enchant scrolls, they'll most likely get destroyed. Okay. Let's just see how we stab with the Dagger of Protection. Effective. doesn't see us yet. Let's see if we can sneak up on him. There we go. We ended up having to use a Mephitic Cloud anyway, but... Oh! He saw us. Do we have Repel Missiles? Yes, we do. Let's put that on. And uh, we might as well disable him here. Yes, continue. That's confused us quite badly. There we go, we snapped out of it. I'm worried about continuing in the lair. We're going to run into a Hydra eventually, and I'm not sure what I can do to take them out. Here's another glowing dagger. Let's check this one out. Holy Wrath, okay. Well, we certainly have an assortment of daggers to choose from. If we go with the speed, our armor class is two. Oh, that's frightful. Let's go back to protection. I just feel a little more safe. And orcs don't have a lot of hit points either, so once we hit the mines, we should be okay. And no orcish mines yet. Let's see if we can sneak up on Erica. And if we can't, we'll hit her with a Mephitic Cloud. 
Oh, that's not working for some reason. Let's hit her with a bolt of draining. Looks like my draining wand is out. And she wandered right into the lava. And I do love when that happens. Things are getting a little difficult now. We need some sort of protection from fire, if possible. Unfortunately, we haven't found anything of the sort yet. Let's try another staircase. Ooh, here's some good experience if we can manage it. Blink. Oh, that's right, I can't use fire. That makes it a little difficult. Um, slimes have merged. Perhaps an imp will do something? No. The imp got slaughtered immediately. Well, I'm not quite sure how to handle this. It might be that we have to go back... It might be that we have to go back to the, uh, to the lair. Maybe I can polymorph him. I'm going to run out of charges on this polymorph wand. Okay. What is that? A fawn. All right, maybe I can kill the fawn. I certainly can. Your shadow now sometimes tangibly mimics your action. Okay, Let's see what happens if I fight the slime. And I don't see much help from my shadow there. Let's get out of here. Where am I going? Where's the uh, stairs? There we go. Okay, I think we've delved a little too deeply here. We're just going to have to bite the bullet and go back to the lair. If we can find a staircase. I'm tempted to use that recharging scroll on our uh, polymorph. Please go to the lair. There we go. On our polymorph wand. One, two, that's it. Let's confuse them all and probably get confused ourselves. Got three of them constricted, nice. And finish them off with magic dart. And that is layer two. Let's go upstairs and take a look at our books. It's becoming clear that we need something else. Stabbing works very well, but when it fails, we need to uh, we need to rely on something else. Unfortunately, it doesn't appear that we have much to work with here. And we've got pretty much nothing to work with. Uh, we do have cause fear. Our hexes will have to rise considerably for that. Well, I'm out of ideas. Let's just hope we can find a book and hope that our sneaking is good enough. And here's a spiny frog. Let's try the blowgun. These needles are doing nothing. Let's get the 
dagger of speed out. This is extremely dangerous. I have to be prepared to blink at any given moment. Wow, well, it worked. I'm impressed. Okay, let's heal up and continue on. And there's a Hydra. If we can stab him, all will be well. We're going to try Shadow Step here. Shadow Step. There. Stab. Okay, we got a stab off. It didn't quite kill him, and he, uh, he hurt us pretty badly there. But we should be able to finish him off with with a uh, Wand of Frost. There we go. I'm actually surprised that worked. <laughs> um, let's heal up. And get something to eat. And try out these scrolls. Vulnerability and silence. Okay. We don't want either of those. Let's eat uh, an apple and a pear and to continue on. I'm going to put short blades back on. It appears that our stabbing is not quite powerful enough for the caliber of enemies we are encountering here. Wow. Okay, we should be able to fit a cloud these fellows. Just make sure we keep uh, them confused. And there's another spiny frog. Drat. Let's get away a little bit. Um, we're going to call a couple imps. They might help us out a little bit. They're not helping. We can confuse the yak and isolate the spiny frog. And I'm going to try and polymorph him. That didn't work. Let's... Let's blink. Let's drink a potion of curing. And we're going to use our potion of heal wounds. And continue running. Let's try one more polymorph. I'm not sure if he can be confused. Oh, yes he can. Okay, good. Whew. When that polymorph runs out, I'm going to be in trouble. Let's see if we can draw one of them off. There we go. What happens if we just fight him? We win. I just lost... I just lost piety there. And I'm not sure why. back up. Obviously I lost the stab there. We're going to target, if possible, the Komodo Dragon first. Reapply Confuse here. And there's another Komodo Dragon. Not good. Actually, it's not dangerous at all. We'll just uh, confuse him. There we go. I wonder why we lost that Pip of Piety. Was I not being active enough? Let's check our religion screen here. Okay, our shadow now sometimes uh, mimics our action. I guess we gained the Piety back. Better to be self-confused than to be paralyzed.
intelligence up. We still haven't gained that point of strength. But it's not such a big deal on the Octopode because we don't have any armor to carry around. And as an Octopode, it's always good to fight in water if you can. Um, let's just confuse this Yak Horde here. I really wish I had Poison Resist. I could walk into my own clouds. Okay, he keeps dodging the uh, fit of clouds and recovering from them too early as well. Stealth is climbing up nicely. Dodging is coming along. Short Blades is coming along. But it's clear we need something here. And I don't think that something is going to be the staff, but I will check it out anyway. Staff of Fire? Certainly not. Let's drop that immediately before our god gets angry with us. And we'll go back to our Dagger of Speed. Carefully now. Shadow Step, please. Beautiful. Okay, that worked nicely. Let's check out the shield, it's a plus zero. But I like the graphic associated with it a little more than the other shield, so we might keep it. Dodging is becoming more and more imperative for our Octopode here. Stealth is imperative as well. I'm not sure what to do to make this any easier other than find a book. We're obviously not going to be able to make it to the Orcish Mines. Why did we lose piety there? Maybe because we used Shadow Step. We're going to have to use it again here to get that spiny frog. Excellent. Draw the axe in. We have no chance to take them unawares now, but as long as they're confused, they will fall. And they're nice experience. I'm not sure about this Deep Menos. He demands a lot of piety for using his abilities. I've used his abilities, what, twice? Let's check out the stuff. Conjuration. We'll keep it, but we won't use it. Not yet, anyway. More yaks. Can I get a free stab? No. There is going to come a time when Mephitic Cloud is going to fail me. And that time is coming soon. snake there. And an active yak. Let's uh, blink out of here and just put up a couple of fitted clouds. Concentrate on the snake here. Quite a miscellany of enemies after us now. Oh, come on. I will risk confusing myself. There we go. Just because that yak is proving to be very difficult. Okay, carnage. Quite a bit of carnage. Let's draw him away from the spiny frog. I really wish I could find a, a hex book. That would make me very, very happy. Time to use Shadow Step again. Oh, looks like we lost our opportunity. 
I suppose it's back to the old polymorph. Hmm. I'm not sure if that is any better. Let's just try polymorphing him into something else. His MR is too good. Um, I think my only option here is to A, get out of here, and live. Let's make it to the staircase, please. Um, what can I do? I'll try and polymorph them again. Okay, that's a little better, I guess. A shock serpent. At least he's killable. There we go. die. Okay, we need we need some options here. If I found a scroll of requirement at the moment, I'd ask for a book. If only the dungeon were a little nicer to me. Disintegration. I mean, without, without Conjure Flame... Ooh, look at the stabs. Let's just back off, deal with the Scorpion. Why is my Blink failing so much? Um, 8%? That could certainly get a little better. Let's raise Spellcasting a little bit. Um, give Stealth a break. And Short Blades just for a little while. Our stabbing is back up to snuff here. <sighs> Block Bomba. I think poisoning is our best bet for the Block Bomba. So, let's stay at maximum range. Completely miss. We're going to have to teleport. This is ridiculous. A last potion of curing, which is very bad. Let's just sneak away there. Oh, the black man was nearby. Let's get out of here. We're completely out of options. Um, I think that, uh, the dungeon is a better choice right now. If we could only find the Orcish Mines. Excellent stabbing there. Deck of cards, that's not going to help me. Uh, Yak Simulacrum, huh? Let's uh, blink. Oops. Confuse the polar bear.
Hmm, I had no idea a magic dart would work on these, uh, uh oh. It's Flog Lugan. Our only choice is to flood him with imps. Let's get a couple imps up. It would be much better if he... There we go. Came into an open space. Get him, imps. He's pretty persistent. This is most likely going to confuse me. Oh, I'm strangling my own imp, or is that his imp? I'm not quite sure what's going on anymore. And I died. Okay, that would have been a lot more viable. I, Yeah, there was not much I could have done there. I was in the midst of mephitic clouds. I had no cure potions. I was overly relying on my polymorph wand. I don't even know what hit me. What hit me? Oh, the ghost hit me. If I had only found another book, a hex book or something, I would have been all right. Or even a conjuration. I really had no options there. Could have tried the disintegrate wand a little more. But there we go. So ends any loop, any oop. We'll try another interesting build shortly. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.